Today I'm working on the EVAC Horizon Junior Vacuum Generation Unit. We're having problems with one of the walk-in coolers because it's overflowing on the floor. This keeps losing vacuum when it shuts off. We have a steady flow of liquid coming through there, or air, the flapper keeps flapping. When it shuts off, you'll see when it hits 22. There we go, we're at 22. Now, observe. We're constantly and steadily losing vacuum at a more than acceptable rate. And when I close that, it stops. The piping here goes through there, down to there, and it goes over and across. This is the dairy walk-in that I'm working on, and this is where the water leak issues occurring. When it happens, it starts flooding out of the buffer box up there. This is the activator, and it just, a whole bunch comes out. Right now I'm going up. Ooh, that's close. Ooh, that's so close. I think I better back up. is either in that, which is the pinch valve, or in the activator that I just showed you. Let's go check it out. Close this. <clears throat> Damn, that's hard. Don't try this at home. I love my job sometimes, you know. It's pretty fun. We'll go look for a vacuum leak. See if a vacuum leak stopped. Now then, there could be several things going on. My pinch valve could be leaking and messed up, or my activator could be messed up. I don't think it's my buffer box. This vacuum is going a little faster. It was a minute ago, huh? Still losing vacuum somewhere. It says after five minutes, if the vacuum level has dropped by one inch of HG, that 
there's a leak and you need to fix it. That's too much of a decay in vacuum. A vacuum transducer monitors the vacuum level of the system. If the vacuum drops below 15 in HG, a pump will turn on. This pump is called the lead pump. Once a pump is running and the vacuum remains below 22 inches of HG for more than two minutes, an additional pump may be turned on. This pump is called lag one. After an additional one minute, if the vacuum still remains, a third pump comes on. There's no third pump on this one. There's only two. So here's my first set of alarms. These are the excess run alarms. If you look on the left right there, 454 seconds on the 22nd, which is today, at 4.15 p.m. So 454 seconds, that's damn near, that's a long time. Here's my excessive lag run. This means that this is the second pump's alarms. So after the first pump has been running for two minutes, the second one comes on, and these are the alarms for the second one. You see it's at the same time at 4.15, we've got 335 seconds. That's a little over, that's five and a half minutes. So notice that that trails exactly two minutes before the alarm on the lead pump. So the whole purpose of this vacuum drainage system is because they don't have any drains in here in the floor. All the water has to go up from everything. So we've got this branch right here. Goes that way into that pinch valve. Then the whole thing turns right here. Starts going down that way. To feed all these cases. the produce cooler and the bakery not worry about all that with the meat department because they got floor drains there so we got a pinch valve there pinch valve there pinch valve over there another one right there another one right there and then way down there in the center of the screen we got two of them since I still have decay in my vacuum I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow with a second guy and we're going to have to close all these off and try to find where our vacuum leak is and fix it.
this thing back up. I don't know. I think something's messed up here. I don't think that's supposed to do that. I could be wrong though. That seems a little much. I think this thing is up. I think I'm gonna have to order a new one of these things. I don't like what it's doing. I don't think it should do that. Anyways, I gotta go tonight because it's closing time. They wanna leave, they don't wanna wait here anymore. Here's this thing, and here's that thing. Hey, good. You guys ready to leave? So, what I'm gonna need...